please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey DP, today we're talking about Beauty and the Beast, Vaccine Clinic, your books and clubs today. So let's get started. I'm Becca. And I'm Mia. This is DP News. And it starts now. now. DP will be hosting a free vaccination clinic by the Santa Barbara County Public Health Department at McKinley Elementary on January, January 8th or Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. This will include all vaccination and booster shots for everyone ages 5 and older. A Scholarship Foundation of Santa Barbara informational session will be held this Saturday from 2.30 to 3.30. The session will be on Zoom. There's been a shortage of male students in the Beauty and the Beast show. Rehearsals have already begun, so if you are interested, reach out to Mr. Sayer. Chargers yearbooks are currently on sale for $95 and $100 starting January 31st. If you don't order by February 28th, you will not get a yearbook. Here's some more information about it. Imagine an Instagram account that showcases your favorite memories of the school year but better. The solution to your boredom and need for nostalgia. Your books are just like scrolling through a social media page. Wait, you can't actually scroll through them, but you can flip page after page after page. The best way to connect, to laugh, and to relive for $95 before January 31st, buy your yearbook now. Today is Friday and we have two clubs for you to go to today at lunch. Fiber Arts Club meets in B12 and the Political Science Club meets in H15. There are no sports until at least Tuesday due to new COVID guidelines. Here's Ms. Lorenzano with a new class being added next semester. Hi seniors, my name is Ms. Lorenzano and I'm going to be teaching Mexican American literature next term. Um, we're still looking for students to fill the class so if you're interested in learning about art, history, literature, through a Mexican-American uh, perspective, through Latinx authors, then I highly recommend that you take the course. Uh, we'll be exploring different uh, authors like Gloria Zoldua, Rodolfo Gonzalez, and uh, you don't need to identify as Mexican-American or Mexican-Latino uh, to take the course. Everyone is welcome to join the class as long as you're a senior. So I hope to see some of you there. Here's Mr. Gomez with another class being added. Good morning, DP. My name is Mr. Gomez and I am teaching AP Human Geography in the spring. So, what is AP Human Geography? It is more than just looking at a map and being like, oh, there's where France is at. We're actually gonna study what humans do in terms of geography. So we'll look at why people move to where they move. We'll look at why certain countries are poorer than other countries. We'll look at how people tend to vote and we'll look at things such as the environment and what humans have done to impact the environment and maybe what we can do to make it better in the future. So if that sounds interesting to you, take AP Human Geography during period three with Mr. Gomez during the spring term. Thank you. Seniors, an important message will be sent out at the end of second period, so make sure you have your student score notifications on. SB Unified's goal is to keep us students in school and not going back online. In order to do this, they have updated some new mask rules, such as wearing masks inside and outside unless eating. They also, encor also encourage eating just outdoors. Well, that's all for today, Chargers. Today we're going to finish the show a little differently by showing you the new school promo, which was first shown to the incoming ninth graders. It was created by Connor Dolan, Gabriel Castleman, Owen Rock, and Ryan Orozco. <laughs> Dos Pueblos, home of the Chargers. We value inclusion and collaboration in our community, and there's something here for everyone. Let's see what DP has to offer. 
One thing that makes the IB Diploma Program at DP great is the sense of community that you build with fellow students because you're in all the same classes for two years and so you make a lot of great friendships and great connections. DP is the only school in the county uh, that offers the IB program, which makes it kind of unique. It's recognized internationally, and so you know that your work uh, that you're doing in the IB program is up to an international standard. I feel like all DP sports in general have a very inclusive culture. I've been on basketball and the volleyball team, and I've made very strong friendships from both. DP produces really great athletes. I recently signed to a D1 college, and I think that playing for DP girls volleyball really played a big role in helping me accomplish this goal. Yeah, so one of the best things about DP is that there are so many groups you can get involved in um, for whatever interest you might have. It's also really easy to create your own club. All you have to do is fill out a little bit of paperwork, create a constitution, and attend a single meeting, and then you can host meetings weekly. I feel like the Engineering Academy has given me a lot of opportunities to learn a lot of different stuff um, from learning how to work on actual machines to being able to talk to people, like people skills. The Engineering Academy just recently got um, a large grant in addition to their own fundraising to build um, a really, really nice new building that isn't just for engineering students, but for the entire community as well. Last year's DP theater program, Pippin actually took a new approach with multimedia resources and with COVID restrictions they implemented pre-recorded and live action events which took a new idea of how theater can be looked at. The fall show, Love and Information, we actually got to, as a cast, think about what scenes would look like and create a whole new show with our minds. As a student in DP Media, you have the opportunity to be a part of an untraditional classroom environment in which you have many additional learning opportunities. You can become a student leader in the classroom as well as improving your communication, collaboration, and time management skills. As a counselor, I enjoy the fact that students really get an opportunity to take a lot of different types of classes, um, that it's really about individualizing the levels of their classes. We obviously want our students to be challenged academically, but we also want them to have exposure to a lot of different kinds of programs, hopefully to help them make some decisions on their future, whether that means going to college um, or going into the field of work or some kind of vocational training. Um, but that's what actually we're all about. 